Green morning, green afternoon, green evening to everybody world over, wherever you are. We extend a very warm welcome to everyone. Indeed, it's a great, great, great pleasure to have everybody with us. And today, something very interesting we are going to talk and we are going to share with all of you because every Sunday morning, afternoon and evening, you may call it whatever you want to call it, because it's a green morning in Canada. It's a beautiful morning in Canada. We're from our distinguished guest, Mr. Vikas Malhotra, the tourism analyst. He's joining us from Toronto, from Canada. We extend him a very warm welcome. Sri Manmohan Singh Ji, the writer, producer, director, the chairman of ICSI from Mumbai Media Entertainment Division. He's joining us. So we extend a very warm welcome to all our brothers and sisters across the world. And today, like every Sunday, we have got in the evening NRI series and NRIs for education, NRIs for skills, NRI for tourism. And of course, today is the focus on film tourism, cinematic tourism, entertainment tourism, future trends in tourism, how the things are shaping up. So we will have something uh, directly from the media entertainment industry, we'll have from the tourism industry and clubbing them together, we will have a wonderful journey. But every day we get lots of new people who join us. So let me glimpse through some slides. And the most difficult task is to do your research whole day and to add new slides every day in the evening. And when you have to go over that, certainly you have to take the whole globe with you because you've got to presume that the people, those are joining for the first time, they do not know what exactly has been covered so far and what all is there. So welcome to everybody. And uh, our chamber, ICSI is a link between India and the overseas Indian, all our brothers and sisters. And there are 31.4 million Indians at present overseas in different countries. Every year we have got our celebrations, our deliberations, congratulations, and that happens in the second week of January when all the non-resident Indians, they get together on a common platform from the world over. And we have been getting the participation almost about 149 countries. And our presidents, uh, you know, every two years you have the new president. And at present, the president is from Thailand, before that from Singapore, before that from US, and of course, a couple of other dignitaries. Now, we had 27th International Virtual Conference due to the pandemic. That was on 13th of January. And we are thankful and we are grateful. And I'm grateful to Vikas Malhotraji once again that he was with us on the International Day as well. Now, late Honorable Prime Minister of India, uh, Atul Bihari Vajpayee ji, when he had learned and he got the idea what all is going on with regard to Parvasis, with regard to tourism, with regard to service industry. And there was a short, crisp presentation and everybody sitting over there and deliberating an honorable prime minister giving a final version that, okay, you go ahead with your Punjabi Parvasi Devas, what you're holding. It's a great initiative. Let's take it to the entire country and there should be a Pravasi Bharatiya Divas and that should be done with the help of Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India. And there was a separate department, Ministry of Overseas Indian Affairs Department. And now that has been merged back and something nice. Welcome to Northeast part of India because we are doing a great series with them. We have already done six programs, two more programs to go tomorrow, Mizoram, and day after tomorrow, Sikkim. At present, the call from the Honorable Prime Minister is Dekho Apna Desh, and you got to travel at least 15 places. You get a lot of incentives, a lot of rewards, a lot of awards, and everything is coming. And Vikas Malhotraji is also going to give some awards this evening. We will share with all of you. Cinematic tourism is very important, next to the heart of everybody. Imagine people traveling to those destinations and all the research, all the studies, whatsoever has been carried out, one person out of five, those are traveling world over. And just imagine how many people are traveling world over. One out of every fifth person is influenced and motivated to travel after seeing films or after TV, uh, seeing TV serial or some music album. And then they want to find out what is the location. Today, we will also show you one location. 
whosoever gives the correct idea and the correct answer you will get 1000 rupees cash award today itself right in this program so ladies and gentlemen before pandemic if we go every year india producing almost 1800 films and collectively in the various languages including hindi and if we talk about the total bulk of the cinema it's approximately 200 crores business in 2019 and at the box office if you see almost 44% films that is hindi then there after 13% regional films when you talk about tamil telugu malayalam kannada and of course couple of other you know what we have got yesterday it was a great learning that manipur is celebrating golden jubilee 50 years of their cinema that was very heartening and it was such a pleasure to listen to that now besides that the prominent film industries including bengali bhojpuri marathi and punjabi cinema and more than 100 films at present on floor when you talk about production various stages but due to pandemic they got little interruption now there's a beautiful study being done by ernest young those of you who can your lay hands on 2019 it was released in mumbai i still recall mr sudeep sopti the pr head for delhi tourism he was there and couple of other dignitaries and i still recall where it was a mention before the pandemic i am talking about that approximately 220 crores the business you know that is by 2022 in india and almost you can well imagine 1 million film tourist exclusively coming and visiting and uh, these things got interrupted disrupted at present due to pandemic but well we will overcome that there is no problem during this pandemic we have got a time to carry out a study research compilation synthesizing so what we have got there are three things which are very very important if we are serious to promote film tourism we got to simplify we got to incentivize and we got to promote this particular segment of the industry whether it's the ministry of information broadcasting ministry of tourism ministry of culture ministry of education ministry of skills anybody you take into consideration including the ott platforms when we talk about today the information technology and electronics that ministry also plays very important role and at the same time ministry of commerce and industry also plays very important role because we have done the great show with them and i'm grateful to that time the joint secretary then additional secretary and now the secretary in the government of india who was a great great support to understand and to give the vision for service industry and film tourism now building brand india through film tourism you can point out the avenues for the collaboration and national policy initiative at the national level something has to be done so since uh, almost uh, 2005 onward when i go ahead ladies and gentlemen we are grateful to shri manmohan singh ji he is the film director writer producer and he has done the phenomenal work when he was with uh, late yash chopra ji and they have worked together on some of the most outstanding amazing locations and films and promotion of tourism in different countries when you talk about through his lens he understood the mind heart vision and heartbeat of uh, yash ji and thereafter they have given a beautiful films to all of us what a beautiful music great soul was yash chopra ji thanks to manmohan singh ji to be associated with our chamber as a chairman and giving his vision all the times and taking the journey forward and he's always always there supportive for any good cause when you talk about dil to pagal hai you saw akshay kumar then and see akshay kumar now when you saw dil wale dulhaniya le jayenge chandni lamhe mohabbatein all these are beautiful films and if you recall gulzar's matches once again uh, manmohan ji being associated with that he is the one who brought a new dimension to the punjabi cinema all together different and most of the singers they became actors and some of the potential people i still recall it's an amazing i can't believe uh, we were sitting together for uh, one of the lunch one of these days that time and uh, there was a girl who had come for personality development program with the chamber and when she was doing how she was picked up i was traveling in different parts and uh, i had given a motivational talk in one of the girls college and one of the girl told sir can i work with your organization 
and I would like to be groomed and I want to speak like you. I said, more than welcome. Come on. And she came for one month and thereafter she gave the audition and she was selected and she worked as a heroine in Ik Kudi Punjabdi. I'm so grateful that movie and uh, God bless the child. Thereafter, we took the vision to Mumbai, 17 December 2005. With the directions and the patronage of Manmohanji, we got all the production houses together on a common platform in Mumbai with all the associations. And we, in one voice, we asked them, please tell us what exactly is your need? So Chandigarh Tourism Department, Haryana Tourism Department, Punjab Tourism Department, and a couple of other dignitaries all together. And there, the industry had only one demand. We need Bollywood facilitation cell. I'm talking about 2005. You can well imagine 16 years back and Chandigarh was the first city in 2006 in India where a single window was set up under the tourism department and wonders were done. And thereafter, we took the journey after 10 years. We have been working very hard on the project, giving lots of strategies, inputs, and uh, econometric models. And what exactly is the infrastructure development required and all. So 2015, I still recall 8th of April. And uh, that happens to be an Indian Army Ordnance Day. So 8th of April, all the secretaries, tourism of the government of India, they got together on a common platform and under the dynamic leadership of Union Tourism Minister and their Dr. Lalit K. Pamarji, Secretary Tourism Government of India, because he himself is musical. He enjoys music. All the times he's uh, humming and he's singing and all the time. And he says, this is one industry which can give you really wellness therapy. So why not? And the national level, everybody together on a common platform, all the secretaries and being deliberated and discussed over there. And 8th of April, the season being taken, let's develop a portal and let's have cinematic tourism and film tourism and entertainment tourism, whatever name you want to call it. Then we had a lot of interaction with the Ministry of uh, Information and Broadcasting also because the film festivals and a couple of other things, whether a Khan festival or a Goa festival, and then with the entire Ministry of Tourism, we went to Mumbai. We met all the production houses. We met all the associations. And I'm grateful, 8th of May, 8th April in Delhi, 8th May in Mumbai, exactly after 30 days. Here is the interaction and Manmohanji addressing everybody over there. And I'm grateful to all the dignitaries from the media entertainment industry they got on a common platform. And ladies and gentlemen, let me also share. I'm thankful to Sudhanshu Pandeji, now presently the Secretary in Government of India, that time Joint Secretary in the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. He understood what we are talking and we requested the Secretary, Additional Secretary, and he took up the entire project uh, further and we saw the daylight all the northeastern states together, all the eight states together with the 10 countries together from the ASEAN. This was in Mumbai. I can never ever forget what a beautiful day we all had the deliberations and celebrations together, all of us over there. And all the eight states, uh, we had the representation and we had all the 10 countries presentation. And Janu Barwaji, we are so grateful to you. You gave the opening remarks and thereafter, I'm going to say, I, I, I can still recall more than 300 dignitaries from the entire Northeast. They were together on a common platform. And then thereafter showcasing film festival of the ASEAN, they had showcased their films and everything so nicely it was being done over there. I cannot forget that particular day. And Shushan Singh Ji, he is Shushan Singh Ji again from the Bollywood celebrity. And he's standing with Sachin at our program in Mumbai. His wife is from Manipur. Great regards to both of them. God bless them. Wonderful souls. Here is the Mohit Soni, the CEO of the Media Entertainment Sector Skill Council with us in Mumbai. A great journey. And ladies and gentlemen, thereafter, we have been moving to the different states of Northeast. Here is, uh, you can see the Honorable CM of Manipur. And that was the international event on services exports. And he released the complete strategy paper and what can be done 
between Myanmar and uh, particularly Manipur, how Manipur can become international hub because everybody has to travel via More, you've got to go via Imphal, you can enjoy a lot in that particular direction. That was a wonderful deliberations we had in an honorable CM Manipur giving the inaugural address. Then we had gone to Nagaland. I still recall it was with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and United Nations Global Compact. Honorable uh, CM Nipur Ryoji, he gave the vision and all of us together on 20th and 21st December 2018 at Dimapur. And he hosted a wonderful cocktail dinner for all the dignitaries and delegates right at his resort in Dimapur and people traveling to Kohima, Mokokchung and all the places, something wonderful and amazing. And thereafter we came to Guwahati and this was the curtain raiser and the preparation being done for Advantage Assam, which was coming on 3rd and 4th of February, 2018. So ladies and this was on 25th and 26th of February, 2016. The Guwahati International Airport to be expanded, additional flight to be brought. Now, something very interesting over here, we got to understand. We got to have additional flights moving. Let the pandemic get over. They should take, take you to the ASEAN countries also. There's a lot of synergy and energy which can be done between ASEAN and the Northeast part of India. And uh, here, then the education minister, Mr. Honchum Nagadam from Arunachal Pradesh, and he was with us, and this was the complete uh, wellness tourism, herbal tourism, education, higher education focus, and that was a wonderful journey. And Sikkim over here gave the keynote address, Mr. G.P. Upadhyay, additional secretary, Mr. Ravi Kapoor, secretary, textiles, government of India, and the chief secretary of Assam together. Thereafter, Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India on 8th and 9th of August at Shillong under the dynamic leadership of General V.K. Singh Ji, the center being set up for the ASEAN Study Center at the Nehu. This was at the ICCR. I still recall that was wonderful, which had come up over there with the Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India. And then, of course, Advantage Assam, Honorable Prime Minister right over there, we, along with the FIKI, we had taken the entire program and let me move ahead. 15th of August, we had a wonderful celebration. Honorable Prime Minister gave a one hour, 27 minutes, 16 second address to the entire nation. And from that address, when we got inspired further and we further started focusing on, if you see our webinar 1123, you will come to know what is the potential of film tourism, India as a destination is the complete case study. Then we had moved on to domestic film tourism, another serial on 17th of August, another webinar, education skills and career path, what all is available, what you can do. Then we had gone to International Noida Film City, 18th of August, 1125th webinar, 1126th webinar, economic impact of film tourism. And now this is something very important slide. There are 2000 pages of the DPR. I've extracted one of the page additional slide for you today so that you get an idea how 1000 acre has been distributed in the first phase. They are developing 321 acre. This is going to be by 2024 then 298 acre, that is 2027, then 382 acre, 2029. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be an amazing, at seven kilometer distance, International Airport Jever is coming up. It's going to be mind blowing. This is a 1000 rupees quiz question. Okay, you all saw a movie called Three Idiot. And Pangong Lake became so popular world over and everybody started talking in India, three idiot, and everybody is talking all is well. Now over here, we are going to throw this question open to everybody. You can write on your YouTube where you are logging in and you're posting your views. You can write over here which is this place? What is the name of this place and where this lake is located? So I have given you the clue. I'm talking about a lake, but certainly it is not a Pangong lake. Where is this lake? What is the importance of this lake? 
in which state this lake is located and something very interesting then we will tell about two things are very important for bird watchers this is a very important lake i have given you another clue and second part during the winters when this lake is totally frozen people do a lot of skating and skiing right over here that is another clue i am giving you now it's up to you because with so many teasers you can understand now you can reply so welcome to northeast i'm grateful to shring wange ji the vice president of the northeast india tourism confederation and uh, he has taken lots of uh, efforts along with his president mr bla from uh, meghalaya shillong and together all of them so monday 23rd of august we did the complete case study and a teaser for arunachal pradesh where shring wange ji discussed how did he handle with rakesh roshan ji 45 days the film shooting for koila where shahrukh khan madhuri dikshit amrish puri and that time rithik roshan ji was doing some other job and let's move on tuesday we had gone to meghalaya beautiful shillong and tura and chirapunji side and everywhere they had shown and beautiful places and beautiful slides so grateful to mr bla also garald also and mr kamki also they have given us a wonderful evening that's a film tourism destination meghalaya wednesday we had gone to nagaland mr david solo mr yan and mr chantai they were very kind and look at the mountains look at the painting created by the almighty look at something what god has given to northeast it is unexplored this is unlocked potential this is unleashed potential you know which is awaiting all of us we have to work together there are very less people those are fortunate to go right up to these mountains and to the inside the mountains and the caves and everything it's only when you serve the armed forces you can go right over there and you can enjoy so i am one of those privileged soldier who has worked the indian army and that was something very nice then we had gone to assam brahmaputra kaziranga and the cruise we enjoyed with mr bora and we had a wonderful tourism journey with mr arijit and the filming part cinematographer mr joy deep paul that was something very interesting then we had gone to tripura who can forget sd barman rd barman the melodies the music devanand ji when he had learned that uh, sd barman was not well six month he stopped his film shooting he said it will start only when he is all right because they had a very nice bond if you go through the entire film journey you will come to know what kind of a bond between punjabi and a tripura guy had and that was a bond between dev anand from gurdaspur and mr sd barman from tripura so ladies and gentlemen all of us we should build musical bonds filming bonds tourism bonds human bonds whatever we can do so ajit kumar paul dr naresh sarkar dr siddhartha sankar mr suman bhattacharya and mr shushubhan and rinki chakma they all were there it was wonderful to have them and yesterday we had a wonderful evening it was uh, radha krishnan ji it was mr pavan it was mr alexander it was madam melody and which was mr sunzu i'm so grateful it was such a nice evening they gave yesterday and we had a wonderful deliberations i'm so grateful to them so ladies and gentlemen now two more states tomorrow we will have mizoram at 8 pm and day after tomorrow we will have sikkim so the journey of the first phase will get over and thereafter our chamber efforts are which we will share with you because it should not remain mere as a webinar we are going to organize soon at the national level international level a very big event showcasing entire northeast where we will give opportunity to all the production houses all the people those are taking initiative to be a part of this webinar series after all you you are looking forward to a client so we want demand and supply to meet yesterday i was telling mr pavan that our efforts are local should get job local should set up skill centers they should have good opportunities right from 2006 when under the directions and dedication of manmohan ji we had uh, 
the full day deliberations, celebrations in Mumbai. And we had the Honorable Chief Minister all the way over there. We have submitted the proposal. SEZ should not be called only special economic zone. Why not we should call it special entertainment zone? You should have the entire entertainment confluence at one place. Like you have got a hospital, you have got a wellness center, you have got a therapy, you have got your testing labs, you have got your education, you have got a hospital in one complex as an ecosystem. Why not special entertainment zone? And that's what UP is going to do. It's going to be a great learning for all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a mind blowing game. I'm telling you today, the day this project gets completed, you would be you would be amazed how many people are going to get job and how many people are going to become entrepreneur, how many ad tech platforms are coming, what kind of equipments are coming, what kind of infrastructure is coming. And these are some of the job roles when the film is being made and the film is being set and you have a small film city coming up, that's something. Production houses, film academy and tourists, all of them together. Haryana has also declared that they're going to have their own film city. They have declared on 24th of March. So why film tourism? Why these children have gone Zindagi na milegi dobara all the way to Spain? Why New Zealand? Why Life of the Pie? Why Karan Johar goes all the way to UK, USA, Canada? Why Akshay Kumar has made Khiladi, Khatron Ke Khiladi, Mr. and Mrs. Khiladi, all the film being shot over there in, in Canada? Why Krish was shot in Singapore? The time has come, tourism industry, media entertainment industry, all of us, we got to join hands together and we have to understand. Somebody was asking a question from tourism. What exactly is with the entertainment industry? And entertainment people are asking me, what do we have to got to do with the tourism? So is something amazing. Uh, you know, we got to, we got to the demand and supply hand in glove. We got to understand what are the benefits of the film tourism at the national level, at the state level, at the regional level. Now, wonderful CEO of the media entertainment sector skill council. I would request that every state, every district and young people take initiative in your respective states, set up more and more training centers, training providers, and you should have more and more children skilled. The secret is all the courses are free of cost, not a single rupee to be spent under what program? Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana part three. Our chamber would facilitate you, but the thing is you got to take on the journey at your own, in your own state, in your own district, Monday to Sunday. Today is Sunday. Somebody may say, why should we have an interaction and a webinar? I personally feel Sunday is more productive than other days. We do all the activities, whatever we do on Monday, on Sunday also. So ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow on Monday, we would be going to Mizoram. What's a beautiful place. When I go to Lingpui Airport, when I go to beautiful city, Aizol, I had been staying at tourist lodge Chalthalang and Chibai. When I talk about something amazing, wonderful people, all the friends over there. And then thereafter, the most friendly state which has been declared and which has been mentioned, that is Sikkim on Tuesday, we are going to have film tourism. Tuesday, we are also starting a new series with you because golf tourism, green tourism, nature tourism, holiday and leisure tourism, we are starting a complete series for India with Rajan Sahgalji, the president of India Golf Tourism Association. And that's going to be a wonderful journey. Each and everything about golf, you will come to know. Golf destinations, you will come to know. Golf marketing, you will come to know golf clubs you will come to know this will be at 5 p.m monday to saturday right that we are starting from tuesday so what is our recommendation what do we want to say from this particular webinar series and this particular program or a campaign first of all let's focus on film tourism cinematic tourism entertainment tourism as an important segment of tourism when we are telling dekho apna desh it means each and every place is a treasure and beautiful. Now, wherever you are staying, click some picture, work out a strategy, what you can do, how you can promote your place. One film tourism policy for the entire country. However, 
any state can have their own policy, any region can have their own policy, there can be an integrated policy of the entire Northeast, and what subsidies, what boosting, what handholding, what encouragement you would like to give, all that part can come thereafter link infrastructure with education, education with skills, skills with micro, small and medium enterprise, and MSME with employment, entrepreneurship and startups. And there should be a special film tourism packages. Like you have got a Raman circuit, you have got Ayodhya circuit, you have got some other circuit, why not? We should have a film tourism packages also. All the locations which are uh, film friendly, cinematic tourism friendly, we can work out a package on that as well. What is the ultimate focus? Youth. Youth of today, youth of tomorrow. They are the one, their happiness, their wellness, their economic activity. They need pocket money. They need handholding. They need something from us. If there can be an international G7, group seven meeting at the international level, there can be a national meeting in India also for promotion of tourism G7. Ministry of Tourism, Ministry of Information Broadcasting, Ministry of Education, Ministry of Culture, Ministry of MSME, Ministry of Skill Development, and Ministry of Electronic and IT. If all seven work together, any platform, any entertainment, anything, radio, television, theater, music, films, whatsoever we talk. So ladies and gentlemen, whatsoever human mind can conceive and believe it can achieve. Let's come together. Let's empower domestic tourism. Let's empower film tourism. Let's empower entertainment tourism, film tourism. Let's learn something new today from our legends, from our dignitaries. I'm proud that uh, Sri Manmohan Singh Ji, the writer, producer, director, cinematographer, and yes, he has also sung a song with Lata Mangeshkar Ji. And that is something fantastic. He's a chairman for our media entertainment division. We are really proud and we are privileged. Thank you very much, sir. And Mr. Vikas Malhotra, the tourism analyst right from 1994. This gentleman is on a wonderful journey and round the clock, he's thinking tourism, dreaming tourism, developing tourism, and he has got something amazing to share with all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, with these words, join me in extending a very warm welcome to both of them and all the dignitaries. And please do participate. Share your name, share your email, share your vision, share your thought process, because it's always good to share with the humanity whatsoever you have instead of dash, 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 taking it with you. With these words, a very warm welcome. Manmonji, aapka bahut bahut hardik abhinandan hai. क्योंकि हम भारत में वापस लौट रहे हैं सब लोगों के साथ मिलके तो इसलिए मैं आपसे निवेदन करूंगा कि हम थोड़ा हिंदी में बातचीत करेंगे हार्टी वेलकम टू विकास मल्होत्रा जी आल्सो हम शुरू में कॉन्टेक्स्ट सेट करते हैं और उसके बाद कनाडा की फ्लाइट लेंगे क्योंकि इस समय कनाडा की फ्लाइट बहुत महंगी है <laughs> लोगों को इस समय कनाडा की फ्लाइट बहुत महंगी है तो हम पहले मुंबई चलते हैं बॉलीवुड चलते हैं बॉलीवुड की बात करते हैं टॉलीवुड की बातचीत करते हैं और आजकल हम अपने नॉर्थ ईस्ट की भी बातचीत कर रहे हैं और हमारी छह स्टेट्स हो चुकी हैं और मिजोरम और सिक्किम को हम करने जा रहे हैं तो सर मुझे थोड़ा सा आप बताइए कि वो क्या चीज है जो मैग्नेट की तरह आपको और यश चोपड़ा जी को खेच के स्विट्जरलैंड ले गई वो क्या चीज है जो आपको खेच के विकास मल्होत्रा जी की कंट्री में कैनेडा ले गई और आपने वो सारी फिल्मों की शूटिंग वो सब चीजें ऐसा क्या है जो हमको करना चाहिए अगर आप एक गुरु मंत्र या कोई मूल मंत्र दें सो ऑल द पीपल दो आर वाचिंग सबको कम से कम एक आइडिया जरूर मिलेगा कि ऐसी क्या चीज है कि जिसकी वजह से लोग स्विट्जरलैंड और बाकी कंट्रीज में थाईलैंड में मलेशिया में सिंगापुर में किसी और कंट्री में ऐसा क्या है सर वो बताइए आप गुरसिंह जी आ, एक्चुअली मैं सही बात बोल जो रीजन है बाहर शूटिंग करने का ज्यादातर लोगों का वो इसलिए शुरू हुआ था एक दौर में कि हम कश्मीर जाना बंद हो गए थे ओके क्योंकि इनिशियली शायद ही कोई फिल्म होती थी जो कश्मीर में शूट नहीं होती थी कुछ और नहीं है तो चलो गाना करने चले गए लेकिन काफी लोगों ने उसकी बैकग्राउंड के ऊपर कहानी भी बनाई और फिल्म भी बनाई लेकिन ये दौर फिर ऐसा आया कि वहां जाना थोड़ा मुश्किल हो गया 
तो जैसे ही ये प्रॉब्लम शुरू हुई तो मैं जब पहली बार मुझे याद है मैंने पहली फिल्म की थी यश जी के साथ फासले तो उनका वो जरूरी नहीं था कि वो क्या वहाँ स्विट्जरलैंड जाए लेकिन क्योंकि कश्मीर थोड़ा सा उस वक्त थोड़ा मुश्किल लग रहा था सो हमने वो यश जी ने प्रेफर किया वहाँ जाना और दूसरा ये भी है कि एक ट्राई किया गया एक नई चीज नई जगह को ट्राई करें बाहर क्योंकि बहुत कम शूटिंग होती थी उन दिनों में बाहर ये मैं बात कर रहा हूँ आपको 84 के 83 84 तो जब हम वहाँ स्विट्जरलैंड गए और जो हमारा वहाँ एक्सपीरियंस था वो कुछ इस तरह का था कि मैं आपको कहूँगा भी तो आपको तो मैं बता चुका हूँ लेकिन कोई और सुनेगा तो यकीन नहीं करेगा <laughs> यानी कि जरूर शेयर करो सर जरूर शेयर कीजिए ऐसा लगा कि सारा स्विट्जरलैंड हमारा है और हम जहाँ चाहे बाहर निकल के शूटिंग कर सकते हैं अगर किसी भी चीज की जो गवर्नमेंट प्रॉपर्टी है उसकी हमें जरूरत है तो वो एक दिन के नोटिस के ऊपर हमें मिलती थी पुलिस चाहिए आपको कुछ रास्ते चाहिए कुछ वन वे रोकने के लिए आपको मार्केट में कुछ चाहिए हमें वो घोड़ा गाड़ी लेके जानी है और यश जी बोले नहीं यही शॉट यहाँ से चाहिए तो वो पुलिस वाला वहाँ हुए दस पंद्रह मिनट के लिए ट्रैफिक भी पीछे से रोक देगा ट्रेन की बात कीजिए तो ट्रेन तो ये तो है कि आप किसी भी ट्रेन में चढ़ जाइए टिकट लीजिए चढ़ जाइए और शूट कीजिए इट इट इज सो सिंपल तो ये जब एक्सपीरियंस हमारा पूरी फिल्म शूट करके हम वापस आए तो उसके बाद सडनली रियलाइज किया कि मतलब इस तरह की फैसिलिटीज तो हमें हिंदुस्तान में कहीं नहीं मिली ना कश्मीर में ना बॉम्बे में ना उससे बाहर तो दिस वॉज क्वाट ए सरप्राइज और उसके बाद तो फिर ऐसा लगा कि यश जी बोले कि जी मैं सब्जेक्ट से ऐसे बनाऊंगा जो मैं शूट कर सकूँ स्विट्जरलैंड में क्योंकि एक तो इतनी खूबसूरत जगह है और नहीं कुछ है तो गाने तो जरूर करूंगा तो मेरे ख्याल शायद ही कोई फिल्म होगी मैंने आठ दस फिल्में उनके साथ की हैं शायद ही कोई फिल्म है जिसमें हमने स्विट्जरलैंड या यूरोप का जो लैंडस्केप है उसको नहीं लिया और उसका रीज़न यही था मेन रीज़न के खूबसूरत है और उसके अलावा जो फैसिलिटीज़ हैं वहाँ पे सरकार की तरफ से वो अनपैरल हैं और ये तो मैं स्विट्जरलैंड की बात कर रहा हूँ उसके बाद तो देखिए कनाडा लीजिए यूके लीजिए और भी बहुत सी फिल्में हैं मॉरिशियस में मैंने फिल्म की थी सौतन मतलब ऐसा लगता था कि ये मॉरिशियस सारा हमारा है वो ये क्या चाहिए और कनाडा ने तो यहाँ शुरू कर दिया था कि आप यहाँ शूट करो और आपका एक 25 30 परसेंट जो कॉस्ट है वो आप जब यहाँ से वापस जाएंगे तो हम आपको वापस देंगे इसके अलावा और क्या चाहिए हमें बताइए अब यूके भी यही कर रहा है बहुत से अदर कंट्रीज हैं जो इस तरह की फैसिलिटीज दे रहे हैं कि आप जी हमें अकोमोडेशन आपको देते हैं हम आपको ट्रांसपोर्ट देते हैं और भी कुछ चीज़ चाहिए और लोकेशन जो चाहिए वो अरेंज करके देंगे तो ये ये जो सब चीज़ें हैं आप ये सोचिए कि आपको ये सब अगर फ्री में सब मिल रहा है और उसके साथ सरकार आपके साथ है आपको कोई प्रॉब्लम शूटिंग की नहीं है परमिशन की नहीं है तो लोग क्यों नहीं जाएंगे और मेरे ख्याल उसके बाद ही ये बाहर का जो जाना है बाहर की शूटिंग जो है वो शुरू हुई और उसके बाद यश जी जाते रहे फिर हम और लोग गए और फिर उसके बाद तो यह हो गया कि बाहर जाके शूट करना हमें लगा कि यह ज़्यादा इजी है बजाय तो इसके कि हम हिंदुस्तान में शूट करें तो ये बड़ा अफसोस है इस चीज़ का कि आप देखिए बहुत देर से इसकी कोशिश में है कि सिनेमेटिक टूरिज्म को डेवलप किया जाए क्योंकि जहाँ जहाँ सिनेमा जाएगा वहाँ पर टूरिज़म आएगा और ये बहुत बड़ी इंडस्ट्री है दोनों मिल बहुत बड़ी इंडस्ट्री है और स्पेशली हमारे नॉर्थ में तो इसका बहुत ही ज़्यादा स्कोप है लाखों लोग इससे लाखों यूथ जो है इससे जुड़ सकते हैं कमा सकते हैं तो ये क्यों नहीं हुआ ये मेरी भी समझ में नहीं है क्योंकि जो भी सरकार आई है वो इतने सालों से कोशिश कर रही है कि 20, 25, 30 साल हो गए कभी आर्टिस्ट को बुला लिया कभी लोगों को बुला दिया कहीं बॉम्बे में जाके उनको आपने ऑनर कर दिया और इनवाइट किया कि आप आइए और कितनी बार पॉलिसी बनी है 
आपने आपने बहुत मेहनत की थी वो सिंगल विंडो सिस्टम शुरू किया था मतलब वो इट वॉज सच ए बिग सक्सेस कि बॉम्बे में बैठ के कोई भी जो प्रोड्यूसर डायरेक्टर है वो वहां से बैठ के आने से पहले ही सब चीजें उसको मालूम है कि ये चीज मुझे ये चीज चाहिए तो सिंगल विंडो सिस्टम के थ्रू वो चीज प्रोवाइड की जाती थी तो ये जितनी हैसल्स है अगर अदरवाइज करना हो तो आपको पता चले कि कोई आठ दस परमिशन चाहिए कभी डीसी की चाहिए कभी लोकल चाहिए कभी किसी की चाहिए तो ये हैसल्स हैं जो आप बहुत देर से इसमें लगे हुए हैं आई एम श्योर सरकार इसको ख्याल रखेगी अगर वो टूरिज्म को डिवेलप करती है सिनेमेटिक टूरिज्म को फिल्म्स को थोड़ा सीरियसली लेती है क्योंकि इसमें बहुत सारी जॉब्स हैं बहुत बड़ी इंडस्ट्री है इसको हम इग्नोर नहीं कर बहुत देर इग्नोर किया है अब इग्नोर नहीं कर सकते हैं सो इट विल बी गुड टू हियर विकास मल्होत्रा जी से कि वो कनाडा में अभी रिसेंटली मैं अभी लास्ट लास्ट ईयर शूट करके आया था वहाँ एक फिल्म पी तो अभी उनसे जानना चाहेंगे कि और क्या क्या चीजें जो है कनाडा हमें ऑफर कर सकता है फिल्म मेकिंग के लिए सो so, मैं ज्यादा ना कहते हुए उनसे सुनना चाहूंगा कि उनके क्या थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर हैविंग मी आई विल ट्राई टू स्पीक बोथ इन हिंदी मोदी जी मोदी जी ने मोदी जी ने पहली बार ये हुआ है हमारे देश में कि जो माननीय प्रधानमंत्री हैं उन्होंने जो नई कैबिनेट का विस्तार किया है अभी विकास किया है इनका भी नाम विकास है तो जो उन्होंने विकास किया है दैट इज समथिंग वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ये भारत में पहली बार हुआ है कि जो टूरिज्म मंत्रालय है वो उसके साथ साथ उनके पास कल्चर तो है ही है लेकिन साथ में उनको नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया भी दिया गया है तो टूरिज्म भी है कल्चर भी है और नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया भी है तो जो कुछ आपको स्विट्जरलैंड में मिलता रहा जो कुछ आपको यूके और बाकी जगहों में मिलता रहा आई कैन वाउच फॉर इट क्योंकि यूनिफॉर्म में मैंने सारा एरिया ट्रैवल किया है सब जगहें ट्रैवल की हैं वहां की आर्ट वहां की क्राफ्ट वहां का कल्चर वहां की हेरिटेज वहां के लोग वहां के डांसेस वहां के म्यूजिक वहां के बच्चे एंड दर यू नो द जेंट्री I personally feel they are cut out for media, entertainment industry, and cinematic tourism and film industry very well. Or, ab jo subsidies hain, incentives hain, wo saare ke saare states ko milke ek regional policy agar pure northeast ki develop hoti hai, ki that you go anywhere in northeast part of India, aur wahan se us cheez ko leke chale, to I am pretty sure usi pe hamara prayas chal raha hai. Kal Monday ko ham Mizoram mein, aur phir Tuesday ko Sikkim mein rahenge. उसके बाद फिर हम आपको पूरी डिटेल उसकी देंगे और उसके बाद हम एक बड़ा कार्यक्रम भी रख रहे हैं पूरे दिन का अ डे लॉन्ग कॉन्फ्रेंस डिजिटल जिसको हम पूरे नॉर्थ ईस्ट को शोकेस कर रहे हैं एंड वी आर इनवाइटिंग लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल फ्रॉम वर्ल्ड ओवर तो आपकी चेयरमैनशिप के अंडर उस प्रोग्राम को आगे लेकर चलेंगे एंड विद दीज वर्ड डीप थैंक्स एंड ग्रेटिट्यूड टू यू एंड नाउ आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट मिस्टर विकास मल्होत्रा हु हैड बिन डीपली इन्वॉल्व विद टूरिज्म 1994 से जुड़े रहे हैं एंड ही हैड बिन इन दुबई आल्सो ही हैड बिन वाचिंग क्वाइट अ बिट बिफोर दैट ही हैड बिन कपल ऑफ अदर कंट्रीज एंड नाउ फाइनली ही हैज लैंडेड फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम इन कनाडा एंड ओवर देयर द जर्नी व्हाट ही हैज गॉट एंड देयर वाज अ वेरी बिग फिल्म फेस्टिवल आल्सो व्हिच वाज डन ओवर देयर एंड देयर वर अवार्ड्स फ्रॉम द बॉलीवुड व्हिच वर डन इन टोरंटो एंड देयर वाज अनदर प्रोग्राम बाय टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया व्हिच वाज डन इन वैंकूवर सो लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स हैव हैपेंड ओवर देयर we would like to know vikas ji how can we help the youth how can we help the infrastructure how can we help the region and uh, we also sent you three research papers on cinematic tourism from india uh, i hope you would be kind enough uh, you would have gone through aapne dekha hoga to uske bare mein bhi i would request you to share your vision with these words i request mr vikas malhotra from canada the tourism analyst to take on the journey please Thank you, thank you once again uh, for having me over here. I'm actually very happy that I'm here because all these things is the subject in my heart. Manmohan sir, thank you once again. You nailed it. जो आपने सिनेमा की बात की है, जो आपने लोकेशंस की बात की है, I absolutely agree with you, sir. The biggest thing is the support. Cinema is left hand or right hand, one of the hands. Tourism is on the other. All we need to do is join this as a firm handshake. अगर ये होता है 
तो इससे बढ़िया कोई बात है ही नहीं आप कोई भी इंडस्ट्री उठा लो आपको यू आर गोइंग टू गिव मल्टी एम्प्लॉयमेंट यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट क्यूजीन डांसर्स हेरिटेज रेस्टोरेंट लोकेशन फिल्म एंड फिल्म एक ऐसी एंटिटी है विच टच इज एवरीबडीज हार्ट इट डज नॉट ओनली क्रिएट अवेयरनेस इट एंटरटेन ऑल्सो यू नो इट्स डूइंग लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स कैनेडा में वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट थिंग्स विच आई हैव सीन एक ये टीवी शो इफ यू माइट हैव सीन ट्वेंटी फोर नाम का एक कीफर सदरलैंड का ट्वेंटी फोर बड़ा वेल नोन शो है कैनेडा में पूरा वो फिल्म किया गया है इट्स अ यू एस बेस्ट शो कीफर खुद कनेडियन एक्टर हैं प्रोड्यूसर हैं और डायरेक्टर हैं एंड कैनेडा इज इन इज हार्ट अब ऐसे बहुत सारे एग्जाम्पल्स हैं देर आर टू बिगेस्ट थिंग्स आई वुड लाइक टू से नंबर वन कनेडियन फिल्म इंडस्ट्री इन्वॉल्व अ लॉर्ड ऑफ यूथ they are so strengthened with the youth they know that the youth want to prove themselves they have a lot of energy and what's best they get full employment in all aspects whether you are a cameraman and i mean like you are somebody who's assisting one particular uh, you know area whatever field that you are in to do with the films there's a lot of youth canadians are always always involving so that is one thing i would really like to add from my side and the government is very smart i absolutely learn a lot of things the way they function they give you rebates manmohan sir thank you for saying that he not only that they give you free think about it they are thinking ki cinema ke through we are going to spread our landscapes to the world rocky mountaineers who does not know in this part of the world aur wahan pe kya hai ki if you are you are not only going to get a rebate for the full entire crew बट आपका जो एच एस टी टैक्सेस का रिफंड है यू गेट अ रीपेड ऑन दैट टू सो वेन यू कम टू दीज काइंड ऑफ कॉस्टिंग्स इट इज सो कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव टू प्रोड्यूस फिल्म आउटसाइड कैनेडा का आई कैन डेफिनेटली से बिकॉज आई वॉज आई मीन इट्स आई एम हेयर लास्ट थर्टीन ईयर्स एंड आई हैव एक्चुअली बिन लुकिंग अ लॉट ऑफ एस्पेक्ट फ्रॉम दैम की वन लिटल सेगमेंट वन इंडस्ट्री विच इज सिनेमा इज जनरेटिंग अ लॉर्ड ऑफ आउटसाइड spikes positive spikes number one employment is there spreading awareness is there and best of all touching everybody's hearts we all are human beings we all have feelings we've got heart inside who doesn't like to see beautiful landscapes one more thing i would like to add hamara india is beautiful absolutely top notch main yahan par hu physical aspect se but mera dil वहीं पर ही है क्योंकि डॉक्टर साहब इफ यू रिमेंबर सर टू और थ्री वीक्स अगो आई वॉज अटेंडिंग वन ऑफ योर वेबिनार एंड यू आस्ट ये लोकेशन कहाँ की है तो मेरा एक आंसर था मैंने टाइप किया था साउथ अफ्रीका क्योंकि मुझे वो इग्वाजा फॉल्स मुझे याद आ रहे थे एक्स है एंड देन इट विकास नहीं दिस इज आवर नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया आई आई एम नॉट श्योर इफ यू रिमेंबर दैट आर नॉट इट वॉज मेघालय इट वॉज मेघालय एंड आई वॉज लाइक अमेज अब ये एक छोटा से दिस इज वन ऑफ द स्मॉल एग्जांपल्स थ्री इडियट्स का जैसे सर ने नाम लिया है सो आई थिंक इफ वी क्लब विद द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया आई रियली रियली थिंक विद द हेल्प ऑफ द आईसीएसआई कैन मूव दिस फॉरवर्ड जो सर ने जो डॉक्टर साहब ने वन आउट ऑफ फाइव कहा है दिस विल ग्रो टू टू आउट ऑफ फाइव थ्री आउट ऑफ फाइव फोर आउट ऑफ फाइव एंड देन फाइनली एवरी ह्यूमन बींग विल हैव बी विल बी पॉजिटिवली एफेक्टेड and one thing the cinemas does and the government over here takes a huge advantage they they do a lot of mental wellness using films they show beautiful landscapes you know rocky mountain air they show train rides birds view there's a lot of stuff which they do and cinema is actually a medicine for mental wellness everybody is very stressed in the world pandemic hua kisi ko financial issue there is no human being jinki there is no issues in life koi na koi issue kisna takriban sabke paas hote hi hain but cinema is one thing which brings a smile to everybody says ah i want to go and see the film switzerland ki jahan tak baat ki hai so that is very good i and and i've been there maybe few times also but i i have a very strong uh, statement ki india has absolutely lot of potential more than many other parts of the world 
So we got to involve youth is what I really say. And I request the ICS chamber to do so. Here film festivals. Here they really involve the youth. Sometimes there's a contest. Sometimes they are doing the work one month in advance. And they create so much of hype. So actually when the festival happens, look at the number of audiences that they attract. Why cannot we do it? We can do many, many more tenfolds of it. Yes, the government plays a very important part. Dr. Sir, I would like to thank you. I got three presentations uh, and I was impressed. That is our view. I was impressed. Kya unhone research kiya? Uh, I, I mean, like those, all of the three of those, uh, you know, like participants had actually put a lot of statistics, which I really liked. That was one of the best things, not only just the slides and, you know, they, they really talked about, ki is saal mein itna, you know, the revenue is there. Canada mein is saal mein ye hua. So that was a very good thing to learn. It was very difficult for me to decide whom I would like to give the first, second or the third prize because they, you know, bohat hi beautiful day. But as they always say that there has to be somebody, I would like to, I would like to congratulate Kavita, Saurabh and Priyanka. The three absolutely impressed me. And honestly, if I have to choose one out of the first prize, I would say Kavita would get the first. Okay. So my request is Kavita did an amazing job. Saurav was the second, in my opinion, and Priyanka, I would not say last, but the least. She was so right there. So would kindly request you, please, if you can give the awards or the prizes to them. Certainly, certainly. And also I would request you that we will give them the international certificate. Manmohanji, he is referring to Hamne India me 87 Bachoko involved kiya hai in film tourism research. In cinematic tourism research, 87 youth we have involved from our chamber. So in teen bachcho ne Canada ke upar study ki hai ki why Canada is fetching so many film industry people? Why are they coming to Canada? What is so attractive about Canada? And why to go to Canada for film shooting? So these three projects uh, Vikas ji ke paas bheje the aur in teen logon ke mein aapke saath bhi share karunga. Or uh, these, are, these are the PPTs, what they had Indians made hai. and everything. Haan, ji, Indians are Indians. One uh, is from Chhattisgarh. Ka hai. Kavita mm -hmm. is from Chhattisgarh and originally from Maharashtra. Mm -hmm. And uh, Saurabh Tripathi is from Gorakhpur, from uh, CMUP's uh, area that is uh, mm -hmm. in Uttar Pradesh. Mm -hmm. And uh, third one, Priyanka, is involved in the film city in Pinjor. Uh, mm -hmm. She is associated and she is working on that particular project, which is coming up in Haryana. Mm -hmm. So these three projects I had sent across to Vikas, that you can evaluate them, you can evaluate them and honor them. So what we will do, we will request to our chairman, sir, and Vikas, we will also request to our chairman, sir, and Vikas, we will also request to our international certificate in ICSI. Ka. For doing this meritorious work, and us pe hum aap logon ka bhi autobiograph denge, to inko bachcho ko thoda encouragement bhi milegi aur happy bhi honge aur aage fir aur bachche bhi usme involve honge to hamare paas aaj ki date mein 87 bachche hain those are basically doing research related to film tourism cinematic tourism and i'm proud of all of them and you will be happy to know more than 40 students are from northeast more than 40 students are from northeast और ये हम इसको लेके चल रहे हैं हमने मनमोहन सर को नॉर्थ ईस्ट लेके जाना है अब ये स्विट्जरलैंड नहीं जाएंगे ये हमारे साथ नॉर्थ ईस्ट जाएंगे दैट इज द वे वी हैव टू वर्क इट आउट एंड वी टू फ्लाई इट आउट सो एनीथिंग एल्स विकास जी यू वुड लाइक टू से एनीथिंग एल्स यू वुड लाइक टू शेयर हां जी प्लीज जस्ट वन लास्ट थिंग व्हिच वाज लाइक यू नो देयर इन माय माइंड आल्सो कि द फेडरल level, the government of India, collectively with all the individual states, if they can come, just say, yeah, I mean, I can only give the, you know, like the scenarios here, that the government at the federal level gets involved when it's a film kind of a thing, you know, which is done, because it actually invests or it is such a positive impact in anybody's mind and heart, that they feel like, oh my God, look at that place, I really want to go. And that in the long run is going to help not only the economical factor, but also fulfillment in life as well. 
keep wow i really i really really like to see that way and and i would say it's not only about nature there are many more things like culture as an example kis type ka khana you eat how do you cook ab jaise italy as an example they have so much boost about their pizza this is the way we make there's a cooking class this is class live like a local there is a lot of stuff that they do so and i can vouch for it jo cuisine hamare bharat mein hai wo oh, it's 10 out of 10 we all are aware of that cuisine has there are various varieties and food so tourism and films collectively can bring everybody on a common platform and will spread i mean like the economy awareness and will definitely entertain everybody too eventually wonderful thank you thank you very much uh i appreciate your participation all the way from canada from toronto and jo aapne week long uh, month long festival ki baat chit ki thi that was the award ceremony or ek mahine ke liye the complete program in schools colleges universities institution i think that case study we have already done and uh, let me also assure besides certificate tino participants ko they will get cash award also from the chamber will give them the cash incentive also as a booster as an encouragement isliye main bachcho ko bar bar ye bolta rehta hu ki put in your best of efforts you will never ever get an opportunity ki aapne apna project banaya aapka project canada gaya aur canada mein vikas malhotra ji ne dekha it's a independent evaluation of your work which is being done aur manmohan ji ko bhi hamare chairman sab ko bhi ye baat achhi lagi ki bacche is cheezon par kaam kar rahe hain because these are the positive things which we have to do it in future so i'm really really grateful to you ab ek award humne aur dena hai and that is something which we were sharing initially main isko dobara dikha deta hu taki koi ye na kahe ki agar humne dekh liya hota to bada acha rahega ye kaun si jagah hai aapne three idiots dekhi thi that was a pangong lake ये कौन सी जगह है आप YouTube में पोस्ट कर सकते हैं जहां आप अपने कमेंट्स डाल रहे हैं ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स इफ एनीबडी टेल्स मी व्हिच इज दिस प्लेस वेयर इट इज लोकेटेड और इसका नाम क्या है यू गेट टू थाउजेंड रुपीज कैश अवार्ड पॉकेट मनी राइट नाउ एनीबडी कैन ट्राई इट आउट और हम ये भी नहीं कह रहे कि अगर आप गलत बताओगे तो हम हजार रुपए काटेंगे ऐसा नहीं कर रहे हैं एनीबडी हु कैन टेल अस कोई भी ट्राई कर सकता है ये कौन सी जगह है आपने एक पैंगोंग लेक देखी थी थ्री इडियट के अंदर ये फ्यूचर की लेक है जहां बहुत सारी फिल्मों की शूटिंग होगी और मैं मनमोहन सर को भी यहां पर लेकर जाऊंगा समबडी एनी बडी हु कैन टेल मी मैं क्लू दे चुका हूं आपको कि यहां पर जब सर्दियों में बर्फ जम जाती है तो यहां पर स्कींग होती है यहां पर स्केटिंग होती है और यहां दूसरे मौसम में जब सब कुछ नॉर्मल होता है तो लोग बर्ड वाचिंग के लिए जाते हैं इसके आसपास का फ्लोरा एंड फाउना जो यहाँ के पत्तियां यहाँ के फूल यहाँ की सुगंध यहाँ की खुशबू और ये जो लेक है दैट इज समथिंग सिंटिलेटिंग एनीबडी हु कैन ट्राई नो नो रोशनी दिस इज नॉट दैट नो नो दिस इज नॉट ए लेक इन सिक्किम रोशनी यू आर फ्रॉम अरुणाचल एंड यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ लेक इन सिक्किम सो वेल आई थिंक आई डोट वॉन्ट टू टेक मोर टाइम i would like to tell all our participants all our viewers this is arunachal pradesh this is on the way to tawang and this lake is called pangkang tang so so you can just remain remember pangkang it's a beautiful lake which is located in tawang area so that's what i just wanted to share so future mein bahut sari filmon ki shooting aapko yahan par bhi milegi that's what i just wanted to share with all of you so thank you very much vikas ji final word any inspiration anybody you would like to tell because uh, we are dedicating this entire journey at present to northeast part of india and six states we have already covered two more we are going to cover and thereafter we have decided we are going to do a big event for all of them together with entire tourism industry and media entertainment all of them being together and so rightly you said is like a hand and glove and two nice words you have used which i have picked up today aapne ek bada acha kaha ki showcase the landscape to the world and dusra landscape is the medicine for human body 
landscape is the medicine for the human body and cinema is the medicine for mental wellness wow that's another powerful word which you have used today so heartiest congratulations to saurabh priyanka and kavita thank you very much baki log bhi participate kare isiliye main aap logon ko request karta hu aur bar bar karta hu aapko bahut sare surprises milne wale hain aane wale dinon mein jo jitna participate karega usko utna hi award milta jayega with these words we come to the closing thank you very much vikas ji for joining us today for this thank nri series me. sunday morning for you sunday evening for us and sunday afternoon for vimal ji all the way in london and of course dr shilpi ji all the way in central asia and dr anand prakash ji in doha and other dignitaries and all our brothers and sisters those are joining from rest of the world and particularly my friends from the northeast part of india thank you very much everybody thanks for